Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we set up this solar panels that generate power from that thing in the sky. And we currently have 2.3 million FE, which is absolutely amazing. Issue is, we don't currently have something to power. My plan was to unlock iron furnaces and convert the furnace so that it uses uh, power instead of fuel. Well, that might be a while, not because that we require nine research points, but for the fact that I didn't know that the augment factory or the factory augment that converts the furnace into a factory and where it uses power instead of fuel requires an echo park, which if you didn't know is four uh, echo gems into a perfect echo gem and then eight parks. And we currently have two full parks and we might have enough to be able to make, um, uh, well, we have six. So actually we have just enough, I think, in order to make an echo park, except after echo gems, we don't have a perfect echo gem. Unfortunately, we, do, we need three more uh, echo gems in order to do that. So I, th I don't think there's anything else really than to d start doing runs again. It's been a while, so we need to make this crystal. I need to prepare uh, this for traveling. For example, I need to add a couple of bitter lemons and also a bunch of gold in case we find something we fancy buying you know and i also need to sleep but other than that i also need to quickly check the black market in case we have something really good uh i don't think that there is i mean this is cool but that's a little bit too pricey i also wanted to take a look here we have 29 inscription pieces i really want to make a mushroom room room inscription mushroom room inscription oh dear me uh i really want to make this because because we need a lot of knowledge and living chest has knowledge and i don't quite know how many scrolls we have i don't actually know where we even place them or where i place them um that's a good question where are they aha there we go we have three living chest scrolls so if i if i could get two more then we could potentially get this i don't think yeah a few inscription pieces as well oh and four echo gems oh never mind that's that plan down the drain <laughs> yeah all of these actually requires echo gems i just realized now um except for the xbox room that's good but that is not living chests yeah, all of these almost all of them require echo gems except for the wild west description and the crystal caverns description that's actually good to know that you can make that in case we ever need chromatic iron in a in a heartbeat or something um hmm, okay well the village inscription the village inscription could potentially give a stronghold that has living chests but that is a little bit of a gamble oh well i'll have to uh think about that if you have any uh, suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. But I need to make this now. Iron, run flesh, clay, and stone. So I almost have everything. I need to go ahead and get some more zombie flesh, which is easy. And then I need to get a little bit more clay, which is also easy. I first of all need to get a shovel, but then we're heading over to here because finally we actually get to use this thing. So if I just zoom up over here, uh, granted I have something that can give me, yep, that, that will do. And I just break this, hold down here, add that, and yep, it is spawning husk. And close that up, go down, and they're all going to go right down here and can give me a bunch of rotten flesh. I mean, that's just cool. And I think, I think just like that, actually, I have all that I need. So I can now go up here. That's not supposed to happen. Um, okay. <laughs> I can take this out and boom, done. And I just need to empty this system here, which is very easy when you have easy access to a javelin like this. And there we go. Perfect. We even got carrots and potatoes. Very cool. I love this thing. It's so cool. Now I just need to get a little bit of clay, which should be very easy to do over here somewhere. And vein mine that. And that's a stack. Perfect. Going back home. Oh yeah. And we have the loot belt now instead of having the overflow chest. Very, very cool. We need to obviously have all of this in our our inventory ready to go and boom that is this crystal pretty much done ow you know what i might actually i mean this is only nine by nine but there are some things that are very annoying that this thing picks up i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and that's not how you do it in a crafting table come on now let me go scavenger hunt because i really want to get those bounties that i have down there done i have my shulker box i have my pouches i have my tools i think that i have everything so we're ready to go except I want to take a quick look in here. 
Now that you know a little bit about the altars, it is time to let you know about the Divine Paradox. The Divine Paradox is a vault designed completely by you. It can be revisited once every day and can be customized to fully suit your needs. In order to get started, you will need a seal of the creator and apply it to a crystal. This will grant you access to the build realm of the Divine Paradox, letting you buy rooms for vault gold to extend your vault. Each room is associated and will require you to have the sufficient reputation to build. Okay. Uh, every time you add a room of air, the reputation requirement goes up. Oh wow. The build realm. I might, I like this actually. The build realm of the Divine Paradox is empty in terms of loot and mobs. It exists solely for you to design and extend it. You can enter it any time. You can craft. You, you enter it any. You can enter it any time. You can craft a crystal and seal it with the seal of the creator. So let's start there. Craft a seal of the creator. Attach it to a crystal and explore the world. Uh, hold on. How much do I need for a seal of the creator? Uh, Oh dear, that's expensive. Uh, do I really? Do I? Do I? Do I? We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. I do want to do it, but that's a park, and um, I kind of want to save them at the moment. All right, so these are my two uh, bounties. We have this one, find pottery shards, and this one, uh, complete a scavenger hunt. So I actually have to complete it, but it has. Uh, not that one. It has a black chromatic steel ingot and a bunch of chromatic iron ingots. Uh, so that is really cool. And this has a bunch of chromatic steel ingots. So I think all in all, this is going to be pretty good. Uh, I have everything. I have magnet. I have stuff. Uh, yeah, I think. Let's go. Okay, I think this could be a bit of a tough one. We need gilded chests. We need living chests and also wooden chests and then coin piles. Th uh, that's, a, that's a great start. This could be very interesting to say the least. Also, I am not not exceptionally uh, warmed up here. I have not played for ages. I, I feel like I say that in every... Ow. I feel like I say that in every single... Uh... <laughs> Oh, got about to complete. Okay, that was easy. I feel like I see that in every single video, but it, it is true. Some time does go be past um, uh, recordings here, but we will see how this goes. And at, at least this is an okay theme, I think. Uh, that's an ultimate there. That's good to know in the already first room. Not too bad. And we have this one. Mine vault ores. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be doable, chief. Because uh, that, that is not really something that I need to look at at the moment <laughs> and i really really want to complete this uh the scav because i i need it really uh, ideally i really need it <laughs> oh look at that snipe that was amazing i love that go away get me all these coins hopefully i could get some cracked scripts here nope okay that would have been a great start if i could Ooh, living chests and other chests as well but also living chests very very cool oh this is a great find I'm liking this. Ooh, ground hide. That is really good. Uh, let's see. Can we get another one? Maybe? Nope. Doesn't look like it. What do we have in here? Uh, we have uh, seven rift pages, so almost have no cracked scripts, no red scrolls, but we do have one ground hide, so that is a start. A very good start, actually, if I do say so myself. Ooh, got a cracked script right there. Not bad at all. Come on. There we go. Nice. All right. We have exactly enough rift pages. We have one cracked script, still no red scroll and only one ground hide so far. However, I will go ahead and submit these just so that they're done and we can see a little bit of a progress bar as we go. And there we go, the final one. And I need to go in this uh, direction. It seems like that there's one of one of these in every room. Is that new? I feel like that wasn't the case before, but maybe that has been updated. I'm not sure in the last update. Uh, if you don't, let me know down below in the comments, but I've, it, it seems like that is the case. I think I'm going to stop looting normal chest now, like the wooden chest, and only go for gilded living and coin piles. Uh, just because I, re I really want to make... Oh, speaking of which, I really want to make sure that I actually do get this, because <laughs> I really want to get this compl uh, quest completed. That would be very nice. And in fact, we got a ground hide right there. And can we get another one? We did. Three. We have three in total now. Now I just need gilded chests, if at all possible. Uh, uh, I'm going to just skip this, but I just wa wasted a bunch of time getting this, so I might as well get it. Right. So far, so good. Ooh, village room. If this has a dungeon or a stronghold or whatever, uh, it could be good. It also could be not useful at all, but it could be good if there is an entrance somewhere that is. 
which from what I can see, unless there's a trap door somewhere inside one of these houses, then I don't think there actually is one. Aha, never mind, there do be one. Uh, question is, what type is it? Is it living? Is it gilded? Is it ornate? Because if it's ornate, uh, which it is, then it's not... Oh, no, hi. Yeah, as I, as I was going to say, if it is ornate... Ooh, chap, 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 hello, hello, goodbye. Uh, ooh, epic chest plate, I'll take it. But as I was going to say, yeah, if it's ornate, it's not really going to be super, super useful for me. I might take a quick gander, but uh, yeah, actually, no, it's not what I'm here for. I will stay focused. Really annoying, because that had a huge potential to have gilded, or I think you can get strongholds with coins. I could be wrong, but I think it's possible. I need coins and I need gilded, and I haven't been seeing neither of those, which is not bad. Feel. Maybe down here. Maybe, maybe. Nope, doesn't look like it. Also, I'm definitely not getting that challenge done. So this run is going to be cursed in literally less than a minute. It's interesting. I haven't actually seen any of the market doors either so far. Hmm. Uh, okay, a moment lost, a chance wasted, added soulless. After this vault, do not drop soul shards. Okay, I guess I can live with that. That's not what I'm really here for, so that's okay. It's not okay, but I'll have to live with it. <laughs> Don't really have a say in the matter, do I? Build it? Nope. More coins. None of the the two, unfortunately. That's a gilded chest. That's two gilded, maybe. Yes, two gilded. Uh, okay, get rid of you. All of you, please go away. That's also something coming from... <laughs> Man, was that satisfying or not? Okay, let's get these. Please have... What What? Uh, what was I searching for? Red... Nope, no red scrolls. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Nope, wasn't there either. Only reason I'm really taking this is for the hope that potentially there would be an echo gem in, in one of these, but that was a nope. That's the first source I've seen this run, actually. Two gilded chests and two very, very tough guardians. Hopefully this is worth it. Come on. And that is a... A nope, no red scroll there, and also no red scroll on that one. And here comes the welcoming committee. Lovely. There's plenty of living here though, so I can't really say no to that. I will actually avoid fighting that guy if possible. Uh, and this is apparently not how I'm getting out of there. Come on, get up, please. Get this, and then there we go. Phew. What are you? What on earth? Go away. Uh, this is a tough one. Uh, ooh, killed it though. I'm very happy that. Why? That's a why? 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 That's also a challenge there. I'm, I'm just gonna take it. Do on eight chests. Uh, okay. Sure. I, I guess I'll have to try and do that now. <laughs> oh man, what is this? This is a lot. Please go away. Leave me alone. Actually, my health is actually not doing too bad. I'm actually all right. So, but man, that's a that's a lot of them. Ugh. Go away, please. Leave me alone. Please give me red scroll. Red scroll. Seriously? No red, no red scroll. Okay, I see how this game is. We do have living chests here, though, so I will take that because we do need the knowledge. Uh, come on, let's get this quickly. All right, next. Please get out of my way. Thank you. Actually, I just realized this challenge runs out after we have to get out of this vault, so... <laughs> Jokes on that. That is not gonna have an effect on me. That's cool. Uh, come on. Where? Where's all the stuff? Like seriously, where's the stuff that you need when you need it? Still no red scroll. It shouldn't be that hard to get. I feel. Ooh, coins though. Could potentially get the cracked script here if you guys could let me know. Let me alone. And cracked script. Yes. It is literally just three red scrolls that I'm missing with six minutes remaining. That could be a tough one. I really need a room with just gilded chests as the primary chest source. Oh boy. And we got one red scroll. One red scroll. Look at that. That is progress. If I can get... Ooh, wait, there's more gilded here. Hold on. This could be it. This, this, I said this could be, this could be it. This could, excuse me, this could be it. Leave me alone. Another red, nope, nope. Uh, maybe here, nope. Uh, come on, in this one then. <sighs> That's a nope. And this is a very empty room. Not ideal. Let me out. 
Okay, village room, village room. If there is a very easy way to get into the stronghold, if there is a stronghold that is, I will not, that is perfect. Please let this be a gilded one. Please let this, I will even pop an orange if I have to in this vault to be able to get this. Please let it be a gilded one. Let it be a, hello, please let it be a gilded one, please. Go away, thank you. It's a living. Uh, I could just, nope, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna give up just yet. I was about to say, I could just go ahead and say that's it and loot but i really 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 want this if there's a chance that i could do it in the last 10 seconds or something i would be so happy but i do think that i need to slowly head back now unless there's a slight hope oh, here nope definitely not only wooden chests oh dear right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in this direction because this path goes behind my portal room uh so i'm gonna go this way i do have kiwis if i need to i also have lemons and i'm gonna check these rooms on my way back just in case maybe that's two red scrolls i actually got it two red scrolls ladies and gentlemen oh we actually got it wait do, do we three red scrolls look at that that i wow <laughs> wow <laughs> i did not expect that well we have one minute left i might as well loot a little bit around here maybe could i okay this is not going to be enough for me please go away you're creepy very creepy very weird Ooh, maybe maybe okay i'll get these I will check those doors, maybe that's something good. And then, well, wow, we made it. And that is also really good because that means that now I can start getting higher level bounties, hopefully. Please let there be like, nope, no, no really, really special ores for me. Like, uh, I don't know, the the one that I don't remember that I, but I definitely need for the uh, Echo, Echo Jam. There we go, that's the name of it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a pretty good time as any to, to put that in there and go ahead and get this. and that head on back home man what a journey wow and there we go bounty complete plus 46,000 xp uh wow yeah that that's a lot of mobs on right <laughs> We almost leveled up twice. Almost so. Only almost. Uh, and uh, a different path. Okay. Uh, I got... But what what curse would I have gotten? Chests in this vault I only have filled. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a very, very rough one. Right. Let's go in here. And before I forget, I will go ahead and claim both these rewards. Definitely not activate that just yet. And I can go ahead and get all of this out. Most of it anyway. And feed it right into this thing. I just have to be very careful not to give something valuable. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. Oh dear, we have a lot of soul dust. I need to process that eventually. Then I can go to bed and take a rest because I think I earned it. And because that is almost annoying to look at, I have these burgers for a purpose. There we go. Level 44. Nice. Two unspent skill points. Um, I kind of feel like I want to max out dash. Um, I, I think I'm just gonna do it. I use it a lot. Maybe I should have put one in heal, but I'll do that next time then. Uh, right. Disable magnet. Let's see what we got. So this is the miscellaneous stuff. We got one living chest roll. That's actually not bad. Bunch of different focuses. Uh, that's like the miscellaneous things. The cool stuff is in here. 138 knowledge essence, uh, and then six relic booster packs. Let's see if we get anything. Maybe. Ooh, one, two. Are you kidding me? Two of the exact same. <laughs> Two of the exact same. Are you kidding me? On the plus side, though, I don't think we actually have these elemental relics set. Yeah, there we go. That's four. Now we just need one more. We're getting closer to a relic, by the way. We're getting very, very close to our first relic. Um, okay. Did we get in... Oh, yeah, we got that chest plate as well. We got some gems. Some decent gems, actually, I'd say. I'm actually pretty happy with that. And let me just do this. Okay, that's 22 in total. That's like two knowledge stars. Not too bad. And I saw something in here. This is not it but unidentified charm hello let's see what this is gonna be and i might as well place these bounty crates down as well just like that what did we get okay so that's the red affinity and we have the green affinity and we don't have anything in either of those four um right i guess i'll just save this and keep the green one for, for now <laughs> all right let me empty this stuff and then i will be right back with you so we can take a look at these crates if you're wondering by the way this is literally how i empty the thing i stand right in front of this drawer controller and i just put everything in my inventory do that right click it twice that takes everything from your inventory that has a place to go it puts it there and then the rest can just be either put into the 
big storage here or can be put into the other places that it needs to go. For example, this needs to go here. This can be put in there and the focuses can go where they belong in there. And that is one satchel basically emptied. Nice. Of course, something you could also do is uh, press this extract button, which um, is probably a little bit quicker than going you know, with the mouse all like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, there, there we go. That was a test, you see, to see if you were awake and would spot that. But there you go. I told, I told you now. Anyway, let's see what this chest plate is. I uh, don't really care for the one. Cooldown reduction soul chance. That's fine. Let's see what the 12 armor. That is um, pretty good. Minus Omega, though. But it is a lot more armor. Uh, this might be worth upgrading if I can roll it a couple of times, maybe, potentially. I don't know. Hmm, maybe. Ooh, ooh. Uh, mm, yeah, that's not really what I wanted. Oh, hello. That is plus five armor, almost max roll. That is max roll in health and suffix. I actually like that. I actually like that quite a bit. If I go in here, my health is 44. Damage is 61.9. Defense is 62. Yeah, defense goes up. Mana goes a little bit down, unfortunately, but damage does go up. I think this is going to be a key. This is going to be in here. And just for now, in case I do get annoyed by the mana, I do have the old one still in there. I'm just going to go ahead and add unbreaking to this because that I think is what I'm going to be rolling with. Also, I mean, it looks pretty awesome. Awesome. Oh yeah, I love this texture. All right, inventory has been sorted. It is time. We're going to take the bounties first, both of them, and then we're going to take that one right there. We got a shield, and yeah, this this is what we came here for, really. Um, this is amazing. A bunch of emerald and netherite as well. Let's see what the shield is. Uh, probably maybe good. Oh, I just realized mine is epic. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, uh no, no, that, that's not really no, uh, no, 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 just no. All right, let's pop this and see what we get. Uh, some gems, and you know what? Let's stop staring at it and take it up and see what we got. A bunch of gems, mining speed, wooden affinity, mining speed again, mining speed, and item rarity, and wooden affinity, 10 size. That's not bad. And for Vault Platinum. That is 36 Vault Gold. Not too bad. Put that right in there. Uh, Mode of Clarity is pretty good. Facet Focus as well. Uh, yeah, overall, not too bad, I don't think. That is not supposed to go in there. Oh, wow. And a lot of actually potentially good gear. And none of this is really good. The leggings are a little bit of an upgrade in the implicits, but I do lose the extra 26 mana, which I do use a lot of mana. So for that reason, yeah, I'm just going to scrap all of it. It's not really worth it for me. Okay. And and just because I'm curious, let's just see what the next recipe is. I'm not going to run a vault right now, but that is actually very easily doable. All right, before we do anything, though, I should probably try and build this craft a seal of the creator. I'll do it. I'll do it for the pro sake of progression. Um, I'm not happy about doing it, but I'm going to do it nonetheless. So an empty seal, I'm going to be needing three of these and then four of these. And so this apparently can be run every single day. But do I need to to pay a pug every single day. Uh, let's see. Uh, attach a seal of the creator to a crystal. Okay. Um, well, let's start here. Craft a seal of the creator attached to a crystal. I assume I would need to make a seal of the creator every single time I want to run one. Um, I don't know if I want to run one right now because I haven't really done much with the altars. I don't know if it's worth it, actually. Not to mention that the other quests are kind of open anyway, so I kind of see it as two different ways to go because we have treasure keys, we have forgetting expertises, which I'll unlock at level 50, which I where I can uh, complete basically. And these two, all all these three here, kind of seem to be in the same like topic, which I haven't done very much of. So I think I might actually just save the seal and not do anything with it until I kind of have to, if that makes sense. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to do it for this episode. I don't want it to become too long, um, but I think the overall plan right now is for us to eventually unlock Iron Furnaces, which we can then get the uh, factory augment, this thing right here. Uh, so the overall goal is to be able to make an Echo Pog. And then with that, hopefully we will obviously be needing um, the, the Echo Gems. That is the primary goal. Maybe I can even roll one of these to potentially give us one. I don't know. If I see something 
something in here, I will definitely take that, of course, as well. And other than that, potentially getting refined storage as well down the line after that, because I, I just really want to. I'm I'm set on updating these furnaces, basically upgrading, I should say, not updating. Uh, <laughs> but then after that, refined storage is definitely something that I would really like to get into. Create is another one that would be really, really cool. And then when we can get a lot more knowledge stars, East Villages and East Piglins would be really cool to have as well. So plenty of more stuff to come for sure. I just realized I didn't even use my new potion. I have to drink it, right? I have to. Uh, there we go. I, I drank the new potion. Happy. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. We didn't do a whole lot, but we got back into uh, scavenger running and we have, I, I think we have something to work towards. We definitely have something to work towards. Uh, definitely getting close to level 50. We can probably get actually level 50 in the next episode. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, that that's going to be exciting. So much more to come. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.